program brought to you by Expert United Marine and Gulf International Trading Group. Well, meditation is the controlled state of the mind which can focus and enjoy the state of supreme awareness of the higher self within. Welcome to the body and the mind. Well, um, before uh, poising my questions or before starting the show, well, we have a fire lamp here and that you dipped in oil and you have a, you know, a lovely sort of, it's a copper thing, yeah? Is it in copper? Yeah, yeah. Brass. Uh, why a lamp with oil? Why not a candle? You can have a candle here. After all, both are fire. Yeah. And what is the significance of having this vipa here? Light, uh, if you observe... Um there are different aspects to it actually. But scientifically why a light is to be lit in a house or in places is to purify the atmosphere of its pollution or polluted air. Mm -hmm. The best uh, form of fuel is ghee. ghee. That's why in most of these uh, occasions they use ghee lamp. Ghee lamp is, ghee is one of the best fuel which can purify the atmospheric pollution. That's why if you observe, um, there are great sacrificial fires that we have in India, it's a very age old practices. Mm -hmm. You can see the, even in uh, the story books and uh, comics, you can see the great rishis, they have a sacrificial fire and great yagnyas are done. And they pour... Uh the ghee, uh, honey, uh, all these uh, purified items. They were not fools actually to do or rather waste all these things, but they were much, much higher in their intellectual understanding of supporting Mother Nature. So much of impurities and pollution are all the time gathered in the atmosphere and as a highly developed human beings. It's our duty to protect nature. Nature is giving us everything. In fact, we also need to give or rather support nature. So all the impurities are time and again they ensure that by these ignias they purify the atmosphere of its pollution. And Mother Nature is always kept free mm -hmm. from all these impurities and pollutions that can accumulate by various actions which we also do. So that is the significance of That's why this lamp is lit in a house, in temples or wherever. And whereas candle, it's good, it's not that, it's, it has its own light, but candle basically is carbon, it's made uh -huh. from carbon. So whereas ghee, it is a purified state, it gives you more of a purification in the atmosphere than creating carbon. Now uh, back to the streamline where I am going to pose a few questions and uh, my curiosity towards various aspects in yoga. Being a media, we are people who go out, we go to several conferences, we go to seminars, we go meet different personalities, um, part of the media work. And so when we go into the industry, uh, there is only one thing which is going around the world, is the global credit crunch, the depression. Uh, when will things get rectified, rents in Dubai, you know, several things, you know, that's the only thing we talk. And uh, when we attend big conferences and seminars in Dubai, you have big speakers, big entrepreneurs, bankers, people from different cross uh, sections of the society who come and they scare us and they tell us, you know, th there's something wrong. People have lost money, people have lost property. When you wake up in the morning, things go wrong, calculations go wrong your dreams and desires get sacrificed, so many other things. As a result, what happens? Stress. There is no taste in the food. People can't eat, people can't sleep, people can't enjoy life. You have a Mercedes Benz, but you can't drive it. So many things. Now, we have heard a lot about meditation, although uh, we have never gone into the inner aspects. But definitely, what is the role of meditation um, to help a curb such, uh, can you call it a disease or what is it? Not a disease actually. Yeah. Or oh, this uh, this phobia. 
see uh, today man is running after so many things for happiness contentment peace well being and we think happiness is in achieving so many things happiness is not within you mm-hmm. you do something and you become happy okay that's what we in vedanta we say artha kama dharma moksha all of us basically initially what do we want we should get food in time so a person who is starving is he some wants to get have you noticed whenever you are very hungry you are angry you are angry at one side whenever you are hungry someone gives you a food it may not be tasty but actually you will say it's very tasty for you when you are hungry everything is tasty whereas when food is served and you get food all the time then you want choices this is not nice that is not nice i want this and that so we always want to achieve things so and we want to make ourselves comfortable then we need a place shelter to stay to stay comfortably that also we are not satisfied initially we want at least a small house then a farm house given a little more small village also there's no end to it then clothing if you observe clothing yeah how much ever dresses are there still you want a new one so you can see all the time so artha kama dharma moksha artha means all the material things for you to get you think if i get this i will be happy so we all run around in different aspects to get and then think that i will be happy but how much ever you get after a certain stage you are not happy you want the next best or the next best there is no end to that hmm. more and more and more, more and more that's a concept of the mind it's not something bad but it's a nature of the mind it always wants something more and more and more coming to once you achieve the basic like you have your money you have some your shelter your dress everything is take care now you have all the facilities now the next is i want to enjoy that karma experience that i want to eat the tastiest of food i want to sleep in the best of bed i want to see the beautiful films or pictures whatever is so i want the facilities like a dvd should be there that should be there so many so you think if i get all these things then i will be happy is there an end to it no so we are all in the process of trying to get that and think i am after a certain stage you think this is also not giving me happiness i should do charity dharma give away yeah so i start distributing <coughs> things to other people and you get happiness there also initially the stages is you give one contribution your name should be there it is my father's name or 
grandfather's name mother's name donated by they should know that you have contributed so you are happy listening that so all these attributes you think actually if you call we call it as prayers and shreyas prayers means that by you doing something all your happiness depends on your external world mm -hmm. so when you do this you get you are happy you do that you are happy so basically the material benefit comforts you get then you experience the materialistic uh, comforts then you feel you are doing charity to ensure even my next life i should be happy so ensure that good karmas i give more and more to others then i will be more active not only in this janma but the next coming janmas also so you are ensuring your happiness for the coming periods also mm -hmm. but all these of your happiness depends on the external world this is called prayers this is one aspect of why people depend for the happiness on the external world but where is the real happiness the real happiness sometimes you can see even the greatest of king is not happy because internally he is not contented a king can be a beggar within because he is always thinking of getting a beggar can be a king because whatever is there with him is contented so happiness is not something in the external happiness has to be from within that's called shreyas mm -hmm. or we call it as moksha moksha means not running away from materialistic world moksha means freedom from all these materialistic the external things, forces external forces that you think will give you happiness see if you observe it's not that you should not desire but anything without desire there is no life there is no doing anything desire is what is the vahana vehicle that makes you move around mm -hmm. every moment is desire but desire with contentment only can help you to achieve your desires faster goal your goal so what is what does this mean is that moksha or your contentment contentment is internally i am contented see now you want to have a big villa or you want to have a bigger house but now if you are disturbed agitated this also house is not nice i am not happy this car is not nice that facility is not the all the time you are fretting and fuming over the present conditions automatically you are not in harmony with yourself you are in disharmony that means you are discontented so your discontentment you can be giving it to everyone around you so happiness is something you have to be internally contented how can you be internally contented by understanding your true nature mm -hmm. so your happiness is not dependent on something external today we are all suffering because of stress and that and this see they are all external factors for us to do our activities they are not something to make you stressed internally i am not able to cope up or i internally i am not contented with my present situation mm -hmm. so we do so many actions to get contentment you understood so when you are expressing something to get contentment and you don't get then you are frustrated disturbed disturbed you are stressed you are agitated angry fear anxiety all these things crop up now let us say you are internally you are contented compared to so many people in the world i am blessed i am contented with it that doesn't mean you should not have desires you can have desires but you are contented so anything that you do is an expression of contentment have you noticed some people whenever they do something you can see them enjoying their activity they love to do it they may not be rich and uh, affluent or anything but whatever they do they do it with happiness they love to do it and just seeing them you enjoy it because internally they are contented satisfied the internal contentment only can give external happiness mm -hmm. 
So internally I am contented, you are relaxed, you are composed, clarity is there. At that time, whatever you do is an expression of contentment. Now today so many people kill each other. Fighting there, terrorists you can see what all happening all over the world. Because people are not contented. They think by killing others, by doing this, by doing that, so many things, you become contented. It's nothing but ignorance. They are ignorant that whatever they are doing is not actually helping them to get any contentment. They are only destroying their life further. Unless man understands this, recessions can disturb you. Atrocities around the world happening can disturb you. And the world itself can be in doldrums. It is because man is not happy within Man is not contented within. He is always on the desire of more and more and more and more. There is no end to this. Just take our own senses. The five senses that we have. Food. How much ever food you take because your stomach is limited. Stomach is limited. You are stopping. Otherwise will we stop? We will keep on eating. There is no end to that. I do know that sailing uh, full time is all is as good a religion as there is. Now one day it so happened that uh, we were almost caught in a cyclone. 50 degree angle you can imagine, you know. You you cannot stand. I was also holding on to the railing and just hanging. My wife is a working, she's a senior here in Delhi University. So during summer time, she along with the kids used to join me on board. So the gap between, uh, the separation time between us was not much. How much ever you get, still you want to check the best, the best, all the time. How much ever uh, CDs you have and you have been listening to music, you go to and find another CD, you want to buy again. You may have so much in your house, you would not have even listened also. But you never stop, you want more and more. How much ever you see things, still you want the urge to see more and more. This is the quality of the mind. Mind is the lowest strata of a human personality. It always wants to get comfort and comfort and comfort. And it wants to know everything. But it always operates with the limited identities. Mm -hmm. You know? So whenever we don't get what we want, we are discontented. So this discontentment is what is giving discontentment externally also. Now let us say, a human being, we have billions of cells. 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 We are all made up of billions of cells. Each cell consists of an atom. I think we have studied it. The outer circle of an atom is made up of what? Electrons. Negative charges. Likewise, Whenever we are too much into the external world, 
negativity is a part and parcel of existence you cannot say it is wrong someone doesn't come in time immediately you think what happened accident or that it's nature but you cannot say it's wrong but as you slowly start going within you understand your own strength start working with yourself automatically you can see positive tendency starts coming up because after the electrons internally it is the protons positive charges so the more and more you go within the more and more positive things starts coming out from you today i do not know anything about myself so i do not know my strength when i do not know my strength how can i give strength to others i can't give when i am in the external world i am seeing so much of negativities around i attach myself to the negativities i am upset frustrated agitated anxiety jealous hatred fear you name it everything is there but more and more you go into yourself understand yourself automatically the inner potential starts manifesting in you you are able to take care of the negativities around so negative and positive are two charges in life's existence the more you go to the core you are in a state where we have the neutrons mm-hmm. neutrons wherein negativity and positive becomes two sides of the coin you know what is that and what is that you know what is negative what is positive you are never disturbed by a negative or a positive Positive. this is called a state of contentment and when you are discontented at this moment anything that you do in your actions expresses contentment Mm -hmm. so whether there is recession or whether there is a problems going on around internally nothing disturbs you this state is what every human being has to attain and this can be attained only when you go within you mm-hmm. when i go within automatically i understand my potential understand myself when i understand myself i will be able to understand you better right mm-hmm. when i understand right. myself do i want to hurt you no because if i am hurting you i am hurting myself when i love myself then only i'll know what is love isn't it Correct. so you need to understand yourself to understand yourself then only potentiality strength manifests from within mm-hmm. so this is what can give you the entire essence of happiness today we are not able to get this because most of the time we are running around here and there mm, i would also like to know about the role of meditation in curbing yeah curbing this. yeah see today um, if you see people are rather confused with this word meditation many relate to meditation as something very high spiritual and then you will not be in the extra, in the materialistic world and you may run away from all these things but meditation if you see is a very simple knowledge and very powerful knowledge which every human being in the world should practice you know why all of us at any given point of time sometimes you are confused about life mm-hmm. at many different point we need to take independent decisions in our life mm. and who has to take decisions for yourself i only you may be a very good uh, guide to your friend or your dear ones but when it comes to my life gone i can't decide i don't know what to do why because you are emotionally tense up you link whereas whenever you are taking a decision or guiding your friend you are not emotionally bound with that you are apart from that emotions and there is clarity of thought because you are operating with a relaxed state of mind but whenever i am having a problem i am emotionally disturbed and there is no relaxation in me nor am i having a clarity of thought that makes me do wrong decisions 
at vital moments which I nearly, really need to take. So a human being to attain a state of deep relaxation, clarity of thought, he need to practice meditation. Because meditation can help him to maintain a state of inner peace, calmness, tranquility and a relaxed state of mind. Thereby he is the master of his life to take decisions for himself.